guys, uh, good afternoon. I wanted to come on here and talk about the falling away that's happening in the Christian community right now and why. Uh, I've watched CBN News and there have been preachers falling from the faith. And we've read in the Bible, you know, Jesus told his disciples this was going to happen. And there's a few reasons why I think it's happening. And Francis Chan has this, I think it's like about six minutes. I'll, I'm going to try to put it in, uh, copy the link and put it in after my video here. And it's Hebrews 5, 12 through 14. And it's for when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teacher you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full age, even those who by reason of us have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And Francis Chan just brings up such a good point. You have so many people going to church and that's the only time all week spiritually they're fed. And they don't dive into the, the, the book of and God's word during the week for themselves. They don't do any sort of research or they have a question about something and, you know, try to find it in the Bible themselves. They go to church and expect their preachers to feed them. And, you know, as Christians, I think some of us are getting lazy or, you know, I, don't, I just don't even understand why we can't just look at the word. You know, you've got your Bible. It's all here. It is all in this book. And people are falling away from the, the faith right and left. And I think some of it's due to also, you know, people re relying on others for entertainment in church and the bands and the songs. And, you know, I, I know I go running in the morning and I plug my ears in with my Christian music and I pray and I talk to God and he talks to me through music. I get that, but that's not my soul time with God. And I know that things like music will only go so far. And God wants you to read his word. He wants you to Get your spiritual food from the Bible, from from the gospel. So, you know, we need to stay strong. And I almost feel like if people are falling away from the Christian faith, how much did they actually love their father above in heaven? You know, how, how invested... Were they really in Jesus Christ? And I know that sounds kind of harsh, but to me, it, it makes it, that makes sense. That statement makes sense. You know, how, how much love did you really have for him? If you are willing to just go, eh, you know, I, I'm done. I'm done with this God stuff. I'm, you know, I just, I have no more strength left. You know, things aren't, aren't going the way I want it to every day. And, you know, I'm having hard times and no one said life was going to be easy. I mean, good grief. Look at the Bible. Look at Job. You know, I mean, look what he went through and people go through struggles every day, but I don't want that to, to deter me from knowing that my Lord and Savior is waiting up in heaven to bring his bride home. You know, it just, we're, we're so close. And I know the, another reason, you know, people get really disappointed when people out there on other channels set dates and say, you know, this is when the rapture is going to happen. Again, I say, I'm not going to set a date, but I'm always going to be watching, you know, occupying and redeeming the time. 
I'm going to study my word. I'm going to make my videos that, you know, Jesus and the Holy Spirit want me to make. And, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm waiting for that blessed hope. I'm, I'm waiting for my, my Lord and Savior to call me home. So I wanted to kind of go through some of these verses with you uh, that talk about, you know, Christians in the falling away. Because there's, I mean, there's, there's quite a few of them. So let's go to, well, we're in Hebrew. So let's read um, Hebrews 6, 4 through 6. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened to have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to, to come. If they shall fall away to renew them again into repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of Christ afresh and put him to an open shame. Jesus died for us one time. That's, that, that's it. it. You know, he's not resur resur he was resurrected once. He, he's not crucified every single day. You know, I mean, and ugh, when that's why when people say the whole once saved, always saved doctrine is false. Ugh, I can't get into that again. Um, but people are going to fall away and it is our job and our duty as disciples of Christ to try and help people learn about Jesus Christ and how important he is to everybody. Let's go to Hebrews 3. Oh, it's right here. 12 through 19. Take heed, brethren, lest there in any of you an evil heart or unbelief in departing from the living God. But extort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers in Christ, if we hold the, the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. While it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. For some, when they have heard, did provoke. Not all came out of, the, <clears throat> out of Egypt by Moses, but with whom he was he grieved forty years. Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to him swear he that they should not enter into the rest, but to them that believed not. So we see that they could not in, enter in because of unbelief. We've got to hold tight to Jesus Christ, you guys. He is... He's our, he's our everything, everything. I want to read, well, here's a powerful one. Revelation 311. I've read it before, but let's read it again. Because I, I feel, I feel sometimes that things need to be like drilled into people for them to realize, oh man, yeah, I got it. I get it. And so, you know, sometimes when you're reading the reading the scripture, you know, even for me, I have to read some things a couple times before I'm like, oh, I get it now. And that's 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 why we have the Bible. It's our food. We are to study it. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast that no man take thy crown. Don't let someone else take your crown. Hold fast to it because Jesus is coming. You know, I've been reading and studying the book of Matthew and reading all of Jesus's parables to his disciples lately. And, you know, that's what the Holy Spirit's led me to do is, is to read those. And it just shows how powerful Jesus Christ is. And how much people just wanted to, you know, be a sponge and just soak up everything that he had to say. And it's just, you know, I, I think about things that I cannot wait to be able to, you know, be up, up there with him and have a conversation and ask questions and get answers and just be in the presence of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
I would, I, I really want everyone to read Matthew chapter 24, uh, just the whole thing, 1 through 51. I, I really think that one says a lot. And I ask that you guys please pray for all the persecution that's going on with the Christian faith because it's happening all over and it's just going to get worse. And we need to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ. And yeah, I just, I wanted to make a video and get that out there and talk about that a little bit today. I love you guys. God bless.